What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Hosemper here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. The Italian Styling, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown Humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash Diamond Crown. Click on the Enter to Win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Welcome back to Story Geeks, episode 303. I am your host, Joe Hosempa. I am joined via Zoom with Drew over there out in the big old state of Texas where it's over 100 degrees. It's starting to get 68, 70 degrees over here. It's fall's coming. Fall's coming quick this year. I can feel it. What are you doing, Drew? You having some technical difficulties over there? Drew's figuring it out. He's talking. He's going to figure out his audio. How does it go from working to not working? I have no clue. Anyway, this is a chance for me to talk to you about our J.C. Newman promo. If you go to stogiegeeks.com, right on the top banner, click on Enter to Win a Humidor. Our partners, uh, J.C. Newman, is giving away a free uh, Humidor uh, every quarter. Register to win. Uh, it's pretty much that easy. So if you're wicked smart, you would do that. Also, don't forget, I am on Twitter. Now, I'm trying to keep the Story Geeks conversation going all week long on Twitter. Having a little problem. Facebook, you guys always participate. That's fine. But but Twitter, I don't know. But anyway, my Twitter is Joe Hosempa. So J-O-E-H-O-Z-E-M-P-A. Check it out. I do some Story Geek stuff on there and some security stuff on there. So if you want to learn not to get your identity stolen, I suggest you follow some, some of our shows as well. Uh, it's pretty rowdy out there <laughs> in, in the cyberspace uh, for sure. Drew. Are you all set now? I think I am. Can all you right. hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. We're, we're, we're... There we go. There you go. You had a little moment. We are going to be doing the sticks of the week, and um, I'm I'm excited about these sticks because a couple of mine, I'm looking at one, two, three of them came out uh, brand new from, from the show, so uh, of, of, of mine. And um, I have no clue what you're going to talk about. So what do you got? All right. So here we go. So I'm going to kick it off with the uh, Drew Estate, uh, Brothers of the Leaf, uh, Corona Gorda, the 6x46. Mm. Uh, you know, Nicaragua blend. Uh, uh, it's a long Corona. It's a medium strength cigar. Uh, it's new. It came uh, via via. Nomi, my partner, uh, brought it back from Vegas, uh, and then we got a shipment in uh, about a week and a half later. Over at the shop, uh, this cigar for me, you know, yeah, at the shop here mm -hmm. at uh, uh, Prestige Cigars and Lounge, Bedford, Texas. So we definitely got these in and uh, had some mixed reviews on this one. Uh, the wrapper is uh, as a Connecticut broadleaf. It's smooth. Uh, it's the one I got particularly was very oily uh, and. Uh, it was just it, it was just different uh, when I took it out of the wrapper, uh, looked at it. I studied the construct. Looks great, very thick. Veins look good. Uh, the wrapper, uh, you know, it's a Maduro, uh, kind of a dark coffee with a reddish tint, a um, little bit blackish brown, I guess you if you want to call it that. Uh, you know, so I thought at first I go, was well, this in a score wrapper? But no, it wasn't. It was just a Maduro. So. Uh, again, uh, leather rich, spicy pepper, a uh, little uh, earthy, uh, hay towards the, uh, the middle mm -hmm. uh, part of it, uh, the second third of it. And then from there, it just started to kind of fade out a little bit, you know, and I wasn't sure what that was. Uh, I don't, I would never got a chance to smoke some of the earlier versions of this cigar. Um, I know a lot of the people there, the, once we got them in here at the store, uh, you know, they were excited about, it. and then, um, and then they were just kind of like, oh, okay, uh, you know, uh, it's it's good, uh, you know. <laughs> sure. Uh, and then that was it. <clears throat> sure. So, um, I want to back up. But a my couple experience of, with it, I want to back up a yeah, couple of comments ahead. that you made because, ironically, sure. and uh, 
I, I have the same stick. And the last time I had that stick was last night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I, I mm-hmm. reviewed that stick over last week, and then I had it. Uh, quick backup as far as a little bit of Stogie Geek knowledge. It first came out in 2012 and then in 2013. Uh, in regards to the rapper binder filler description, it's a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, like you said. You have an Ecuadorian Connecticut binder, and you have fillers from, from Ni- Nicaragua. It's available in three different sizes. It's available in the Corona. The, the, I'm talking, to, we are talking specifically about the 2019 version. Uh, it's available in three yes. different sizes. It's available in the Corona, five and a quarter by 42. Uh, it's also available in a Corona Gorda, six by 46. And it's available in the Lancero, uh, seven by 38. I'm interested in the Lancero. I've actually had two of the sizes. I had the Corona Gorda and I had the Corona. Okay. Now we're all caught up on the story geek knowledge. Now you can continue, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, for me, you know, the uh, you know the cigar, you know, like I said, started out uh, rich and uh, a little bit of pepper spice, and then the second uh, half of it started to go into a, a hay kind of earthy. Uh, uh, I think uh, not only you, but a couple of other uh, cigar aficionados here in our VIP lounge, they were like, "Well, it's a." a it's a little bit. It's a little immature. I, I, I mm. it needs it needs some more time. Yep. Yep. So I don't know if you can elaborate on that a little. No, bit. No, I was I was waiting for, for you us. to finish. I was waiting for you to finish. My my take on this stick. I tried it, and at first that that first um, instance that you talk about that you say it was good. Uh, I first time I smoked it, I was like ah oh, like uh, like the first inch. I'm like I don't know, man. Like like immediately comes to mind tobacco's not ready, right? And this goes back to a uh, few Stogie Geeks listeners who are new. Um, if you look up any of the episodes with Manuel and Noah from La Aurora, talks about the experience you get when a tobacco's not ready. And, what, and, and these are his words, which is actually cascaded to, to, to my words on the show, saying, like, yeah, like, it, it leaves like a, like a, like a you kind of get like a, a little bit of a, it's not a pain, but it's like a tasteness right on the side of your jaw. And that's what he said. And he says, most of that is because like the tobacco is not ready. That's what I first got the first inch. Then I started to smoke Mm -hmm. it and I was like, holy cow, this is pretty good. All right. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, okay. It's pretty good. Then it did get to that kind of hay flatness. But what I noticed Mm -hmm. for me, it was extremely tough to keep it lit. And like, you know, it was like I kept lighting it, kept lighting it, kept lighting it. It, it the draw was fine, but it was just kind of like, kind of like there. And then because of that, it, it kind of got flat. So I smoked another one, and then the third one, and the, the last one I smoked was actually last night. Like I said, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I was like, yeah, my, my taste is the same. My take on it is the same. I, I think that um, right. it, it 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 does need a little bit more time to to settle. So if you find it, I, as far as a rating, I gave it a try one. You know what I mean? Like I would try one, which sounds like some of your your, your clients over there at at Prestige, which is just kind of like you know, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You know, I think it'll taste better with some time. Actually, have one. Yeah. In my travel humidor, which is well, yeah, uh, which is like what you know what, when I'm gonna yep. smoke next, and I'm probably gonna take it out and and entertain it, and because because I have a desktop humidor here at the office as well that doesn't come out like in my little pouch thing, and and I'm probably gonna take them out and and ju- just let them sit a little bit and then re- rekindle it. Oh yeah, and that's a you know, and that was the thing too. A lot of my uh, a lot of my VIPs they were like, yeah, we'll we'll stick the rest in the humidor, let it let it let it age a little bit, let it let it get uh, rested, and then we'll come back and revisit that in about a month, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, definitely, that's that's where we ended up with that. Uh, uh, for me, it was a it was a uh, it, it was definitely a try a try one as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then again, like you said, like we both agree at the at this point uh let it let it settle yeah. let it let it age a little bit and then go from there yeah for sure for sure yeah. uh i had la gusta ray uh sun grown these are friggin' phenomenal they're phenomenal like and and you know it's funny because when i got them i put a couple of them on paul azadorian's desk unsolicited just say oh you know we, we always kind of geek out and nerd out 
uh, here on um, right with 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 cigars anyway. And uh, you have Ecuadorian sun grown wrapper. Binder is Dominican. Filler is Dominican Lajero, aged five years. Uh, the the size is six by fifty Toro. Um, this stick is is not overly priced at all. You're in that pre-tax, whatever your state tax is, you're in that eight bucks plus tax range, right? Um, this stick is blended so well and it, and, and it smokes so smooth and it's so silky on the palate. I would definitely give this a box worthy all day long. And a box is only, it comes in a 10 count box. So uh, yes. Again, like Tim said on the on on the first segment, ten count boxes really don't break the bank. You know what I mean? So you you can really uh, kind of get into the stick. Uh, that was the La Gustare Sun Grown. Phenomenal stick, box worthy oh, all yeah. day. Definitely. Uh, so my second stick was the Particus Limited, and this was one of the new ones, uh, the Particus Limited Reserva uh, Decadas. Mm. Robusto Extra, uh, cigars. Uh, pricing is set about fourteen ninety nine. The stick, uh, and it is limited to twenty five hundred boxes of ten. So uh, each uh, is packaged in actually a glass tube. So this is not a cellophane uh, cigar wrap cigar. Uh, uh, Dominican Republic uh, strength was medium. The wrapper Cameroon. Uh, uh, actually, was highlighted with by a tenure uh, uh, Cameroon wrapper. Uh, uh, color is natural. Uh, the binders, uh, Saint Augustine, Saint 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 Augustine binder. Sorry, I had Saint Augustine oh, pronunciation. There you go. Yes, there you go. Saint Augustine. There you go. Uh, very. Oh man, this thing was just awesome. Uh, awesome <laughs> cigar. Uh, uh, I mean, it was just. Uh, flavorful uh cinnamons very smooth nutty hints of slight vanilla tones uh the the omatape is that yeah am i saying that right omatape, where, where yeah. it's grown uh yeah uh man uh i had to go in and read up a little bit about that and t- talking about the rich uh volcanic soils that is actually mm. uh grown in and just uh uh the the qual just that I, I it was it was just dense with a lot of nutrients you could definitely tell that uh, in 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 the uh, in the filler uh, so uh, for me this was definitely a, a box worthy as well mm. and again it's ten it's not too it's not too priced out uh, uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be anywhere from fourteen ninety nine to I would say seventeen I guess sure uh, but uh, yeah I, I had a couple of my uh, VIP members here try the cigar, loved it, uh, which is something that they uh, um, that they enjoyed thoroughly. Yeah, yeah Potagus is classic facing for sure. Um, what oh, they yeah. come up with, I haven't had that in a while. Uh, I'll probably rekindle myself with 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 that um, there. Uh, but trade yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we will go through a trade moment. Uh, I'm sure uh, a couple oh, weeks down oh, yeah. the road. When I get back from 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 Florida, between Vegas and Florida, uh, it's been kind of crazy over here. All Vegas and Florida prep, but um, yeah, uh, Potagus. It, it, you know, when I kind of think of a brand name, right? Like if I think like 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 right now, I'm doing a Opus X. Like it's just classic. It's classy. Yeah. It's just elegant, mono smoke, perfect balance. Potagus. I always think rich. Like their, their, their blends, oh, yeah. their blends kind of get a little bit complex. Not complex like in strength, but complex as in like they they really dance around your your palate for sure. So box worthy is a pretty oh, strong yeah. is a pretty strong rating. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. I had go right ahead. now. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, go ahead. no, go you go. Ahead. You go. You go. You go. No, I would just share. I'm actually having a Monte Cristo uh, Espada Oscuro mm. uh, as we were doing the show. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this yeah. This, this this the stick is. <laughs> is that a black it's label? Well, what's the? Is it black label? And it's got thin the writing on it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm enjoying this. So. Isn't it great? Like, uh, like when you like, I, I tell people this all the time, right? And sometimes for me, it's it's kind of like a placebo effect, right? And, and when I mean by that, it's like, hey, I'm sitting on Stogia Geeks and we're talking about cigars, and there are some cigars 
that oh, you yeah. smoke and you're like, frick, this is a damn good cigar. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really enjoying this right now. I get to talk on Story Geeks and have a cigar. So you're, you're enjoying the moment. I'll let you have it. It's good. Mm-hmm. Ho- hopefully you'll have some more. No, know? no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I had the, the Southern Draw Ignite series that came out again, IBCPR, uh, here um, in 2019. Uh, this Southern Draw Ignite series, um, it, it's, it's uh, uh, helping honoring from uh, the proceeds go to, to the Navy SEAL Foundation uh, there. It was recommended yes. to me by the uh, humidor worker next door at our partners over at the Havana Cigar Shop. And, you know, it, it's... The Southern Drawer is planning uh, six new cigars that are in this series, so I'm kind of looking forward to, to to the series that that that's really coming out. This is a private blend, Connecticut number one. It has an Ecuadorian wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder and filler, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, it has a, a a Nicaraguan binder, and the filler is uh, Nicaraguan and also fi- um, fillers from the Dominican Republic. It was a seven and a half by fifty uh, Corona Vitola. Um, they had eleven thousand of these cigars that were kind of like originally produced and stuff like that. I, I don't know the, the 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 marketing behind it in regards to you had to order so many to get it or whichever. I'm I'm not really too much into that realm, but they they plan on releasing more, and um i'm looking forward to the actual series i'm actually really starting to um some of the stuff that uh southern draw is starting to come out with uh over the past can't say calendar year like the uh yeah. uh, uh Citrus or cedius uh there yeah. they, the, they they did a different size on their rosa sharon uh there too it's starting to, it's starting to come too which i actually think is super cool because if you go, if you reverse time, uh, say two, three years ago, when they released some of the stuff, some of the stuff they're really coming out with now, I think is a lot better than their original stuff. So it kind of like makes me look forward to um, what they're gonna come up with next. Uh, these cigars, they're, they're not priced too, too much. They're in that 12 maybe $13, $14 dollar range, you know, because proceeds do go to the Navy SEAL Foundation. I think it's super cool. We had interviewed uh, Robert Holt here from Southern Draw Cigars. Uh, super cool story. So, Stogie Geeks listeners, if, if you missed that episode, you can go to stogiegeeks.com in the search button. You can search for Southern Draw or Robert Holt or whichever, and you can get that uh, episode. But, you know... Uh, what I think is that that's one of the companies, in my opinion, that is showing progression in their blends. When they first started out, uh, and, and I've said on record here, right, I said, eh, you know, it's okay, mm-hmm. it's good, but it's okay. And now w- when they're starting to come out with stuff, I'm, I'm a little bit more intrigued. So the developing as a company, which I think is super cool uh, for a company to actually do that, because sometimes when a boutique company comes to market, they put they they release a stick and it's really really great and then it kind of goes the opposite way, so looking right. looking forward to what they come up with next. But if I I would give this at least a try one or or probably a fiver. Um, I don't know if I go out yeah. and buy like five of the same size because right now that particular stick is only available in one size. It's that Connecticut number one. Mm. So I would kind of wait if 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 they. When they release the others in the series, I would probably rank it a fiver. But, you know, it, it would definitely be in that definitely try one, but more likely leaning to a fiver for sure. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. <clears throat> so my next one I got is my hometown. It's coming from my hometown here in Texas. Is uh, Actually, it's just to the west of me, my neighbor. Uh, so McAuliffe, Magdalia, mm. Toro. Uh, so got my hands on that, of course, because he's just right stone's throw away from us. Yep. And uh, Stogie Geeks listens, we uh, are going to be interviewing them sometime in September, so you want to stay stay tuned for that episode as well. Oh, yeah. Very good story there with Al. Pretty, mm. Very uh, very interesting story, how he got started in this uh, in this industry. Uh, so it is, uh, uh, origin is uh, Nicaragua, uh, strength is medium. Uh, it's a Mexican Habano wrapper. Uh, the color is natural, uh, binder from Mexico. Uh, 
and uh, uh, strength is uh, or length is six uh, by fifty two. So uh, this uh, cigar, I mean, again, I I I rarely ever get. Well, I don't ever get disappointed with McAuliffe. I mean, uh, perfect size cigar for me. If I want to burn an hour, and fifteen minutes, this is the, this is it. I mean, I, I go to his his uh, cigar uh, offerings and and go from there. Uh, the uh, coffee, I mean, comes through very nicely. So this this cigar for me, I've actually started uh, smoking this cigar in the morning uh, with my with my coffee, uh, but. Uh, but very nice and strong, uh, nutty, uh, good spice. And I'm talking about like uh, nothing too exotic, but it, it, it does uh, lend it to the cinnamon, uh, cardamom, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then a little bit of fruit flavor comes through. And then on the latter part of it, the creaminess just comes out very nice. I mean, this cigar wanted me, uh, had me wanting it to last a lot longer. I smoked it down past the uh the the ladder of the band uh uh and it was just one of those enjoyable uh smokes again uh McCallum does not let does not let down when it comes to uh his offerings i feel um but it's just very delicious uh i would definitely go uh at this point uh it is going to be a box worthy for me mm. uh and not because he's from here <laughs> but <laughs> it's just that it's it's an enjoyable. I mean, it's really enjoyable. I mean, it's it's one of these where you can pull it out uh, in a hundred degree weather and be outside on your porch, uh, on your swing, and just enjoying it with a nice uh, uh, beverage of your choice. Uh, I prefer to uh, in the evenings. I prefer to have this with some rye whiskey at one hundred and fifteen. Uh, neat. There you go. <laughs> uh, to, to 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 help me uh, uh, with that little coffee and the sweetness, and it just it man just really. I don't want to say I'm in love with this cigar, but uh, I do love this cigar. Mm-hmm. It makes it a lot easier when you get a chance to smoke next to the person. I had that experience here in the Northeast with my with Mike Bellity of MLB Cigar Ventures with his Imperial uh-huh. line, his Isla Row, his David P. Ehrlich, right? Um, his Aventador. Uh, I'm missing one more, right? And, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, when you get a chance to smoke it next to the owner, it, it does have a little bit of a different effect because they can tell you what you're supposed to be experiencing sometimes. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, 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 you know, yeah. so, yeah, it's I, I get it when you say I'm not really in love, but it's kind of super cool that I get to smoke a cigar next to the guy. <laughs> right. So right. I right. get it. I get it. My last stick I want to talk about. I've had a chance. Avo created this unexpected series, right, uh, from, from from the IPCPR. And um, I had the uh, Avo Unexpected Series Tradition. Uh, that's the one that's labeled from uh, it's 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 Peru, right? So uh, the wrapper is non-disclosed, the binder is non-disclosed, and the filler is non-disclosed. Welcome to Avo, right? Uh, the only thing right. is that it just says, "Yeah, man, it's got Peru wrapper in it." Or not knock yourself out, right? Yeah, it's got some Peruvian filler in there, and it's super cool. It is super smooth. Um, I've blown through the series. They created four. Uh, I'm at liberty to talk about this one. It's not my favorite one, but it's my second favorite one. Uh, there, your size mm-hmm. is a six by fifty. That's a uh, Toro size. And um, with that being said, uh, you know, I I would definitely give it a um a box split with a friend. And just because it's Avo, it's classic. It's super cool that a classic facing. Uh, can can get you there and um you know it, it, it's super cool and if you split it with a friend you won't be disappointed you have one more yes one more so i got this uh jaime reserva especial limited edition uh i'm not sure if you guys have had the chance to uh in de- uh endeavor with this cigar but it's a five and a five and a quarter by 52 robusto uh uh nicaraguan full strength uh, the, uh, the, it's a uh, Maduro kind of on the ripe red, uh, a little darkish, uh, uh, it's a cellophane wrap. Uh, it's of course handmade, uh, Connecticut broadleaf. I mean, this stick here, man, it just really, uh, uh, it, it's a, I mean, the leaf on this one is just really thick and, and just full of sugar. So, Man, I mean, this was another enjoyable, you know, outing for me. Uh, and I believe this one's been out for a little bit. Uh, 
it's uh, the second part of it. Uh, definitely got into uh, a little earth, uh, toasty uh, uh, with sweetness that came through pretty, pretty, pretty pronounced. Um, and for me, I mean, this was just another enjoyable cigar. And, uh, I'm definitely will do a, a box split on this one. Uh, they're, uh, I think, the price point around about sixteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, somewhere around there. What was the stick again? Uh, and I say for the Stoic Geeks listeners who are listening on audio, what what are they? What? Yeah, what? it's a high. Jaime Reserva Especial. Oh yeah, limited yep. edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so if, again, uh, that's uh, a full flavor. You know, it, oh yeah. yeah, and that, in a, and again for me, you know, I uh, I love the full flavors, and uh, I'm endeavoring into the other uh, lighter off, uh, uh, you know, in our, in our store, and just one of the ones came to, to me this. I know this is what you need today. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. So when he gave yeah. that to me, uh, yeah, I, w- I was definitely on the on the on the, on the uh, by the, by the uh, second third. I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely a uh, uh, box split uh, for me. So uh, my my uh, manager Jeff uh, and I decided that we'll we'll do that. Awesome. So that's good. That's super cool. That's super cool. Yeah. Uh, Stogie Geeks listeners, make sure you go to stogiegeeks.com. Click on that J.C. Newman banner, and you can enter to win that humidor. Drew, keep smoking. I'll talk to you throughout the week, and we will uh, be back next week with another awesome episode and some more Sticks of the Week. You can keep the conversation going all week long. Log on to Twitter. We'll see you next week. See you all. Yep.